This is the simulation of the writing skills sections where you're improving sentences. Now you can use this for instruction by simply watching and listening to what's presented. You can use it for practice by pausing the program, seeing if you can answer the questions correctly. Or you can even use it for evaluation, see how well you anticipate what the moderator is going to explain. Complaining that he couldn't hear hardly anything, Samuel asked his doctor and ear specialist whether he could get a hearing aid. Okay, in this case, couldn't hear hardly anything. That's a double negative. So we've got an error up here. We need to find a better substitute. So we know we can rule A out. That's not going to be right. And B shows that up again because he couldn't hear hardly anything. C also repeats the error, complaining that he couldn't hardly hear. D also repeats it, so we've got a fairly easy one here. He complained that he couldn't hear hardly anything. E is then our correct answer, complaining that he could hear hardly anything. Single negative there. Gets rid of that double negative. Number 21, to pronounce my dinner was satisfactory is complimentary. To say my dinner was adequate is not. The first issue is that we have two independent clauses here. To pronounce my dinner was satisfactory is complimentary. To say my dinner was inadequate is not. Without a coordinating conjunction there, you have to have a semicolon to separate the two independent clauses. We don't have that and we're not offered it in A. The second question we have to negotiate is they're asking you to, to make the distinction between complementary and complementary. If something is complementary with an E in it, that means that it completes something or goes along with something. If something is complementary with an I, it means it's a flattering statement. Okay, let's look down the answer choices. That tells us we can eliminate C, D, and E because it's the wrong complementary. And if we look at the choices between A and B, we see that B contains the conjunction but which serves as a coordinating conjunction and unifies the sentence, thus making B a better choice than A. 22. With the exception of Sarah and I, everyone in the group finished his assigned reading on time. Well, when we look at this, we've got to look and focus on Sarah and I. Sarah and I are the objects of the preposition of, so you need the objective form of I. The objective form of I is me. One of the ways to correctly identify these is to let them stand on their own. In other words, do with the exception of Sarah or with the exception of me. You wouldn't say with the exception of I, you'd say with the exception of me. It just sounds right. So remember, you need the objective form of me there. So if we look in our answer choices, we can eliminate A and D because they still have Sarah and I. C correctly has Sarah and me, but we need a comma to separate the prepositional phrase with the exception of Sarah and me from everyone in the group finished his assigned reading on time. Now we need to look at the difference between B and E. Well, E is the correct form because we're talking about something that had happened previously to the time we're talking about. Therefore, they had finished the assigned reading on time. Okay, 23. During the judging of the dogs, of the dog show, the judges could not decide whether the Oscar's Dachshund or the Jacob's Boxer was the best dog. In this case, whether we're looking for the comparative or the superlative, it's a little bit confusing because this is the dogs of the dog show. But you are comparing the Dachshund and the Boxer. So you're comparing two, not three or more. So you need the comparative as opposed to the superlative. So we want to know which one is the better dog. And since A, B, and C contain the best, we're looking at D and E. And the difference between D and E is determining whether we're going to use if or whether. Well, if is used if it's a statement of a condition, if something is happening. Whether is used when you're trying to decide between alternatives. So in this case, E is our correct answer. 24. A significant difference between mice and rats is tail length. 
a rat's tail is twice as long as the tail of a mouse. Okay, in this case, we have two independent clauses. Each of them will stand on their own as a complete sentence. A significant difference between mice and rats is tail length. That's a complete sentence. And so is a rat's tail is twice as long as the tail of a mouse. Since we have two independent clauses and they're not joined by a conjunction, we join them using a semicolon. In our answer choices, the only ones that have a semicolon in it are C and E. The answer choice at E contains that it is. That's an unnecessary pronoun, confusing the issue completely. So our correct choice is C. We've got a semicolon there, uniting the two independent clauses. 25. It would have been wrong, even had it been possible, to force the entire city to stop smoking. Well, this is a typical of some of these on the SAT in that they give you a, an awkward sounding sentence, but it's grammatically correct. So in this case, although even had it been possible sounds a little bit awkward, it's a parenthetical phrase and hence an aside. It's not crucial to the understanding of the sentence. So it's grammatically correct. 26. In her review of the restaurant, the critic discussed the extensive menu, the inspired wine list, and how the waiters were attentive. Okay. In this case, we've got parallel ideas that we have to keep in parallel grammatical form. <laughs> Sounds kind of stilted. But what? remember, we've got to keep everything parallel we got to keep the continuity going in a sentence. In this case, she discussed what? She discussed the extensive menu, the inspired wine list, and how the waiters were attentive. We need a the following that and. And if we look down in the answer choices, we see the only place we have that option is B. So the sentence correctly would be, in her review of the restaurant, the critic discussed, discussed what? The extensive menu, the inspired list, and the attentive waiters. Got to keep things parallel. Twenty-seven. Being that he is that kind of teacher, he should not be blamed for requiring extensive bibliographies. Okay, we've got a couple of grammatical situations here. First of all, being that or being as is not the way to introduce a sentence. You use because or since since you're explaining a reason. If we look down our answer choices, B, C, D, and E all have because or since. We want because he is or since he is. We don't need the that there. So that leaves us to B and E. And now we've got the second grammatical decision to make. Do you want kind of a or sort of a teacher? No. He is that kind of teacher or that sort of teacher. The only choice that gives us because or since and sort of or kind of is B. Because he is that sort of teacher. That's the correct phrasing. Having the best record for attendance, the school awarded him a certificate at graduation. Okay, here we have a misplaced modifier. Having the best record for attendance is modifying the school. Well, yeah, a school might have a record for attendance compared to other schools, but since we're talking about him being awarded a certificate, obviously he's the one who has the best record for attendance, so he's the one having the best record for attendance should be modifying. So looking in the answer choices, the only place where we would have him or he correctly placed to be modified by having the best record for attendance is down in E. Having the best record for attendance, he was awarded a certificate by the school. Remember to have your modifiers placed correctly. There's always going to be one or two of these on the test. 29. Feeding natural wildlife during fall migration not advocated being that it entices them to stay and possibly starve during the winter. Okay, this is our last one in this section, so it's the most difficult. So this has got several considerations, not just one simple consideration, one simple error to take care of. First of all, the verb form is wrong. Not advocated makes this an incomplete sentence. So our first step is finding the appropriate verb form. Well, if we look down in the answer choices, we can see that 
A can be eliminated because it repeats the same mistake. And E is the wrong verb form because we're talking about something in the present. So that leaves us with B, C, and D. Now we have the second error because we have being that in the phrase. You can't confuse being that and being as for since or because. So we can eliminate D. That leaves us with C and B. And actually B has another error in it because B breaks this into two independent clauses. Feeding natural wildlife during fall migration is not advocated. They can starve during the winter. Well, two independent clauses need to be joined by a semicolon, not a colon. So almost by default, we're left with C. Notice that in C it uses is not advocated because. A rule of thumb in using because and since is when in doubt, use because.